the supplement of an acute angle is equal to what? Okay. Now, anyway, we have their uh, supplementary. So supplementary, they always have a total of 180. And complementary, they have always a total of 90. Now, since the question is like supplement of an acute angle, acute angle is always less than 90 degrees. Like, shall we say this is the angle, okay? That is the angle. Now, what is the supplement? When it's a supplement, the other angle, that makes 180 degrees. So this one is a supplement. Now, since this one is bigger than 90 degrees, look at that angle right so this one is what you called obtuse obtuse angle is an angle having more than one uh, more than a 90 degree measure okay acute is less than right angle is always 90 degrees the thing is that the answer is a supplement of an acute if it's acute the supplement is always obtuse okay next one the sum of an angle and its complement is what the sum of an angle and its complement is always a right angle okay shall we say complement is what they form 90 degrees, right? This is 90. So let's say this is the angle here. And then its complement is this one, right? So the, their sum is always 90 degrees or right angle. Letter B. Next one. The difference between the supplement of an angle and its complement is? Okay. So that question calls for this way, actually. Okay. The, sup the difference of the uh, between the supplement of an angle and its complement is? Okay. There you go. So shall we say... <coughs> This is the angle given, okay? And this makes 90 degrees and stuff like that. Okay, so the if this is the angle, its complement is here, okay? And then, what's this? The comp uh, this is the complement of this angle, okay? Complement, because when say complement, that makes 90 degrees. And the supplement of that angle is this one, okay? This one. Now, the question is the difference between the difference between the... Uh, uh, supplement of an angle and its complement. Okay, so this one supplement minus the complement is equal to what? 90 degrees or right angle. Okay? Right angle then. This is the supplement, right, of that angle and this is its complement. When I say the difference, that means the supplement minus the complement, of course you have to minus that, so that means the total angle is here. Okay? So that is right angle or 90 degrees. Next one. The acu uh, acute angles of the right triangles are each greater than 45. No, it's wrong because sometimes uh, <coughs> angles, uh, right angles can have like this one. This is like 30, can have also 60 like that, and that's 90. So it can be less than 45. Less than 45, yes, but sometimes others are not all, actually not all. Each cannot be each. Uh, sometimes it can be 45. Sometimes it can be like 30 and 60, okay? Each less than 45, not, not this one. And complementary, correct. Letter C is correct. Why? Because uh, if this one is 90 and the total total measure of the angles, of all the angles of a triangle is always eight, 180 degrees. And if this is 90, so that means this one, the total also is 90. So they are complement. The total, uh, if this one plus this one, they are complement ang complementary angles. Okay? Next one. A right isosceles triangle has one angle with a measure of, uh, okay, remember that it's right isosceles triangle. Okay, so when I say right isosceles triangle, this is right angle here, and then this one, right isosceles, that means when I say isosceles, two legs are the same. And so the base angle are also the same, okay? So if this is 90 and the total here is 90, so that means divided by 2, so this one is 45 and this one is 45. So one, uh, right, a right isosceles triangle has one angle with a measure of 45 degrees, okay? There is no such thing as 30 or 60 degrees in right isosceles triangle. Remember that, right isosceles triangle. Sorry. Okay, next one. An obtuse triangle always has obtuse triangle, okay? So let's say this one is an obtuse triangle. Okay, or shall we have shall we have like this? Okay, obtuse triangle has always two acute angles. Can be two, only one acute angle. That's wrong. Two obtuse angles cannot be cannot be two obtuse because it can on it has only one uh, obtuse angle that is like measuring one, more than 100. If it's two acute angles, it is not a an obtuse angle. It's a triangle. It is a an acute triangle anyway. Okay, so the correct answer is two acute angles. Letter A. Next, uh, two, two angles of a triangle measure 30 and 40. The third angle measures what? Oh, 30 and 40. So the total I told you is what? Uh, wait for a while. Uh, in a triangle, the total measure of the angles 
is what 180 right and so if you are going to have like two angles measuring the uh, measuring the 40 and 30 so what would be the other two triangles uh, the other one triangle so if this one is 40 if this one shall say is 40 this is 30 this is 40 and 30 so how much would the other triangle uh, angle be so this is like 40 plus 30 to 70 so 180 total measure of the triangle minus 70 is equal to 110 okay so the other one is 110 so that's letter b there you go next one we're just going to solve until 50 Okay. Next. Triangles whose corresponding triangles whose corresponding angles are equal always what? Corresponding angles are equal, that means they are congruent. Okay? Corresponding is like this. I'm gonna explain that corresponding stuff. Okay, corresponding is like this. Two triangles like this, okay? If this this angle is congruent to that, I mean, uh, the, this two triangle angles are same in measure, and this one are also the same in measure. That means these two triangles are congruent. Okay, congruent. Next one, the measure of each of the angle of an equilateral. When I say equilateral, equilateral is all sides are equal. Okay, the measure of each of the angle of an equilateral angle is always what? Okay, an equilateral triangle, say equilateral, equilateral, okay? Equilateral, equi, equal, lateral means side, okay? Equal sides. Equilateral triangles are also equiangular, okay? Equiangular. Okay? Uh, what's that? When say equiangular, equal, angle, okay? So, this one is, this angles are also equal so if a triangle has 180 divided by 3 because they're equal anyway so that is 60 each of them has 60 so the answer is letter C okay there you go next one the measure of one of the angles of an interest angle is what the measure of one of the angles of an obtrus triangle is always less than 90 degrees okay less than that means acute one obtuse triangle, okay, shall I say like this? This is obtuse triangle, right? This is so big. So the two other angles, uh, the two other angles are always acute, okay? Or less than 90 degrees. The answer is letter C, okay? There you go. Next one. The scale used in the map is 1 inch 15 feet. Express the scale in the ratio or uh, express the scale in the ratio, okay? 1 inch is 15 feet. 1 inch is 15 feet. Now, how many feet? How many feet are there? Uh, how many inches are there in 1 foot? So, we have 12, right? So, 12 times 15. You multiply that times 12 because we have to express it in the ratio of inches. So, 1 is 2. 12 times 15, that is 180. Okay? So, that's 1 is to 8, 180. And that's letter C. Okay? Multiply that because one foot is equal to twelve inches. So twelve times fifteen foot a feet that is equal to one hundred eighty inches. Okay, one inch is one eighty inches. Okay, there you go. Next one, forty one. The measure of the acute angles of a right triangle are in the ratio of three two. Okay, remember right triangle. The measure of the acute angle. So if there is like given right triangle, if there is a given right triangle, if this one is ninety. And this one is like solid and then this is 3, 2, uh, 2, I'm sorry. So you just have to add them. So that's 3 plus 2, that is 5, okay? And the remaining, since this one is right triangle and this is 90, the remaining is also equal to 90. So 90 divided by 5, okay? This one is also 90 because the total is 180. This is 90, so that means the total of them is 90. So just divide this one by the total of 5, which is 3 plus 2. So that is how much? That is uh, 1, 8, okay, 18. So if the other one is 3, so 3 times 18, and then this one 2 times 18, okay? 18 is equal to 36, and the other one is 54, and the total of that is equal to 90 actually, okay? Did you get it?
Okay. Yeah, first, if you get this, uh, if you meet this kind of question, uh, if the two acute angles of a tri tri right triangle is in ratio 3 to right triangle, the one angle is 90, so you don't need to uh, worry about it anyway. The other two would be equal to 90 also because this is, uh, the total is 180 for the triangle. Total uh, measure, angle measure is 180. And this one is 90, add them, 2 by, by 3, so that's 5. So 90, since the total is 90, divided by 5. 90 divided by 5, that's 18. So one, one part is 18. So 3 times 18, that is 54, and then 2 times 18, that's 36. Total that, 36 plus 54, the total is 90, which is the total measure of these two angles, this one and this, okay? The one. Next one, we have, uh, was that? The product of non-zero real number and its reciprocal is what? Non-zero uh, re, non real number. Okay, non-zero and its reciprocal is always what? Product is always equal to 1. Okay, shall I say this is 2. Non-zero real number. Okay, 2. Non-zero. And then reciprocal of that times what? Reciprocal means this This is 1, right? So take the, the exchange them. So we have 1 over 2. 2 times 1, that is 2 over 2. That is always equal to 1. Like, shall I say uh, another one? 5. And reciprocal of 5 is 1 over 5, right? So multiply 5, this is 1, 5 times 1, that is 5, and then 1 times 5, that is 5, that's always equal to 1. So the answer is letter B. The product of then, uh, if you are, like, not sure of the question, if it's too abstract like this, actually this is not that much uh, abstract, try to put that into concrete by putting some values, okay? By testing some values like this, what I'm doing. Non-zero is like 2, 5, like that, or, okay? Anyway. Next, at 9 a.m., the shadow of a flagpole is 18 feet. At the same time, the shadow of a man, is six, uh, man 6 feet tall is 4 feet. Find the height of the flagpole. Okay, this one, this question calls for in a, a question that is, what is uh, what's that? Uh, a question, ratio and proportion, okay? So, if a man is like what? At the same time, okay, a flagpole... Flag pole, so let's say X, and the shadow is 18, and the man is this, the same as, like, the man 6 feet tall that is having a shadow of 4. So multiply that and multiply this, so that is 4X, 4 time, X times 4, that's 4X, is equal to 18 times 6, that is just 18 times 6, okay? And then divided by 4. Actually, this is what I'm doing when I take the test. I don't need to multiply them. Why? Because I still have to divide them, so I'll just uh, cancel them. So this is what? Divide also by 4, so by 2 and 6, so we have 3 and then 2, and then 18 by 2, so that 9, right? So 9 times 3, x is equal to 9 times 3, that is 27, okay? The flagpole is 27 feet tall, okay? Next one. Next one, we have here. By how much does the average of 47... Uh, average of 47, 38, 43, 8, 48, and 29. You add them and divide it by how many data there? Five, right? Okay, so we have there 40, 95, 95, 95 plus 95 plus 96. Okay, so the, the total is 186, okay? 186 divided by 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Am I correct? Oh, oh sorry, sorry. 186 plus 29 more. Uh, 215, okay? 215 and then divided by 5. That is like 47 plus 38 plus 43 plus 48 plus 29. That's 215 divided by 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So divided by 5, that is 4. 43. The question is like, how much is the, that's the average, the, for, the average is 43, okay? So how much is the average of, for this one exceed than 40? So 40, uh, 43 minus 40, that is 3, okay? So the answer is, oh, wait, sorry, I'm not sure. I'll check it again. So it's like 4, 7 plus 3, 8 plus 4, 3 plus 4, 8 plus 29 is equal to 205 pala. I'm sorry. It's not 2015. It's 205. And so this one is 41. So the answer is like 40 minus four, uh, 41 minus 40. That's 1. Okay? I'm sorry. Na miss ko lang siya. Next one. The sum of two numbers is 63. One number exists twice the other by 9. So find the larger number. Okay, wait. I'll just have my solving paper. Okay. 
There you go. Um, okay. The sum of two numbers shall 